Good morning to you on this Wednesday morning. We now continue with Psalm 89. Today we read from verse 35. Once I've sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to David. His descendants shall endure forever, and his throne is the sun before me. It shall be established forever like the moon, and the witness in the sky is faithful. But you have cast us off and rejected. You have been full of wrath against your anointed. You have spurned the covenant of your servant. You have profaned his, profaned his crown in the dust. You have broken down all his walls. You have brought his strongholds to ruin. All who pass along the way plunder him. He's become a reproach to his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his adversaries. You have made all his enemies rejoice. You also turned back the edge of his sword and have not made him stand in battle. You have made his splendor to cease and cast his throne to the ground. You have shortened the days of his youth. You have covered him with shame. How long, O Lord, will you hide yourself forever? Will your wrath burn like fire? Remember what my span of life is. For what vanity you have created all the sons of men. What man can live and not see death? Can he deliver his soul from the power of Sheol? Where are your forming loving kindnesses? Where are your former loving kindnesses, O Lord, which you swore to David in your faithfulness? Remember, O Lord, the reproach of your servants, how I bear in my bosom the reproach of all the many peoples, with which your enemies have reproached, O Lord, with which they have reproached the footsteps of your anointed. Blessed be the Lord forever. Amen and Amen. So this psalm concludes with God's promise that he will keep his promise to David that his descendants shall endure forever, his throne as before the sun before me, says God. God kept his promise because Jesus is the descendant of David and Jesus' throne will be forever. But then we also see the mournful part of this psalm and where Israel is crying out to God because he has turned away from them. It's because they turned away from him. That's the big problem. How long, O Lord, will your wrath burn like fire? There is a day when God will have mercy again on Israel in the future, when he will return them to himself. Their problems were their own doing. They turned away from God. When we turn away from God, we lose his blessing. When we turn to him, we have his blessings. I love the way that this psalm tells us, what man can live and not see death? Can he deliver his soul from the power of Sheol? The answer is no man can live and not see death. And the answer is also no man can save himself from the power of death. But thankfully, Jesus has done that for us. We don't have to fear death when we are with Jesus, because he does deliver us from the power of the grave. We know that if we believe in him, we will experience the resurrection to eternal life forever with him. So no matter what this life may bring, we always have a hope that the best is yet to come. And it's with that hope that we begin this brand new day today, and we ask God's blessing. This psalm ends with words with which we'll begin our prayer. Blessed be the Lord forever. Amen and amen. So Lord, blessed be your name forever and ever. Blessed are you. We thank you, Lord, that you love us so very much. We thank you, Lord, that all things are in your hands. We thank you that these psalms teach us that blessing comes upon those who turn to you, but trouble comes to those who turn away from you. Help us never to walk away from you. Help us not to reject you. Help us, Lord, never to seek after other gods and do as Israel did, Lord. Help us to be faithful to you, to be faithful in our promises, to serve you, to walk with you. Lord, we pray that you would look into our hearts and show us if there's any place where we are straying from you and bring us back to yourself. We thank you for the promise, Lord, that Jesus has saved us from the power of the grave. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me shall live even though he dies. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. So it's with this wonderful promise that we begin a new day today. We ask your blessing over this day. We thank you, Lord, that here in Australia now the vaccines are being rolled out. We thank you that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We pray for the sick. We pray for the dying. We pray for all who are in need. We pray for the fearful. We pray, Lord, for those who do not know you yet, that this would be the day that someone's heart would open to you. We commit all to you. We thank you. We bless you. We praise you. We worship you. Lord, as we consider... In these weeks, your wonderful works, your mighty love and mercy, the passion of Jesus, we thank you that, Jesus, you took all that suffering upon yourself that we would not have to suffer. So we thank you for that too, Lord. 
And now we ask that you would hear us as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray you have a blessed day today. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.